Previously on Outer Wilds. I feel like I have more questions than I had before. So they're tracking Eye of the Universe that they themselves didn't even, th didn't even think about. It was like their elders or the people before them started thinking about that. So they're trying to track it just on top of this atoll rock and they couldn't locate it so they are launching it so it's sort of like this ash twin project is about knowing in what direction to launch the probe i don't know how to translate all of this me i'm here for rocket science and the marshmallows i don't even have to tell you guys what we're gonna do today because we're going back to brittle there's so much left there i want to explore so Lantern. Okay, maybe because... Oh, uh, short. Okay. So we just know of its existence, I guess. Um. So, here's what I'm thinking. First off, we didn't visit the South Southern Observatory, I think. Um, because I, I think we were the North? I don't know. We'll look into it. Yeah, the North one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were there, right? And that one is marked as like completed or explored, I suppose. That's how I'm translating it. So that's the, the first one. And then we have the shelter sites. And it, I didn't explore that. I just jumped into the black hole. And then I ended up here. And so I'm thinking that the insides of Brittle Hollow is being swallowed by the, the white, well, the black hole, the black hole. And um, eventually it's all gonna end up around this one, around the white hole, right? But when we were here, there was this satellite thing that I first thought was the interloper that apparently we can learn more about as well. Um, but I didn't enter it because I didn't know that I could, because I learned that from this one, from the canon. Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna go there. I also want to go here to the Ash Twin, because there was a... Oh look, there's a thing! Sun station. That's the one I tried to catch when I come across it into the sun. Um, so we're going... I'm thinking like this. I'm getting so easily distracted. But I want to see if I can explore the inside of Brittle Hollow. And if I can find Ryback. And if I can look into the Southern Observatory. So that is what we're gonna do. And uh, there... Wait. Is that the moon? Wait, what? Is that the moon that nobody could land on? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I'm trying to match the speed, but I can't! I need to... <gasps> you know, I think that explains it. <laughs> oh, there it is! That's why I couldn't match the velocity to it either, I guess. Ooh, come on. Come on, why can't I go up? Ooh! <laughs> Perfect, do I have my suit on? Yes, good, I won't die. <laughs> oh, I... Go! I will have someone's head for that. If I were a queen. Well, that's their ship, right? How do I get in? I don't. Maybe not from here. Do I have to go on top, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Found the top, though. Ah. Where could I... No, no you don't. Don't touch me. 
Did I maybe go in somewhere else? Look at that. You suck! Also, you scared me. Where? Is it like here where they landed their little... Whee! Yeah. There it is. Ooh. I'm here! I did it! I put the ship down safely. You should learn from me. I never put the ship down safely. Um... In that the ship went down and I didn't sustain the bodily harm. Yeah, that's that's more like me. <laughs> a few minor repairs, but it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. <clears throat> yep. One of my better attempts. <laughs> Felspar would, would barely have laughed at me, I bet. I don't think I would agree with this Felspar guy. He sounds like a rude. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news, I... Uh haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if I... if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head... oh, to the north ruin to the equator to try to find a way down. Right, yeah, it does look very broken. But why did you leave your ship here then? Why'd you leave the ship here? Okay, well... You know, you nasty, don't shoot me. Okay, so I can't get that way. Then I know... Can I... Yes, good. Good. So you think you can go there from the south pole? Hmm. Ooh, sup, what's that? Ow. We're fine. We're fine. Where did I see the what now? My arm's always going the wrong way. When I see something from the ship, I'm like, yeah, that's where I want to go. And then I go completely opposite. But did I not see? My face! My face hurts. This is insane. I know I saw it. Boom. Oh, you little. Oh, there it is. Exactly where that thought. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. We're fine. Hmm. <gasps> oh! The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here, uh, unconcussed uncon and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little and there's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with three tree glowing uh, with trees growing out of it okay uh, doesn't look like anything horrible just stairs leading down i can handle stairs after i get my supplies together i'll follow the path and see where it leads but you're not an explorer you shouldn't go ahead and do that hi what's that Pick up all the traveler's instruments, but where did I pick up the last one? I don't know. What is that? Can't do anything with it. Oh. What did I get stuck on? Whatever. Um. Now let's try this photo mode. Take snapshots. So it's inside. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Put it away. So it's in this one? Yeah, that looks like stairs. Can I get inside? Yeah. I can. 
Oh, there's another one of those. Weird ass freaking albergine eggs crystal things. Ooh, look at us. Oh, it's like an unactivated um, crystal, eh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess it wasn't just stairs, huh? Hmm. Dun 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 Oh 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 Hmm. Well that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far though. Guess that's the part of uh, part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. It looks like the hanging city is north from here. Uh, and east is the gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Gravity cannon? Oh yeah, cool. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supply screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below so I can refill my tank. Cute. Okay, so that was um, the South Pole. That's We visited there, I guess. That's a hanging city, but we never went down that far. And not sure where we are now. Hanging city. Where's our friend? Where are you? Why can't I hear you? Oh, it's below me. Unidentified? Where? It's 322 meters close nearby. Hmm. I guess that counts as... Oh. No. Hmm. Gravity cannon. Dude. Heck. Oh, there! What does that mean? Oh. Oh, if I need to go up. And if I need to go down. Well, I'll be... So sophisticated. Yeah, but it's 300 meters in one way, huh? Is he down there? Yeah, he is. Hmm. Guess I could just walk here. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Dude. Where are you? Hear you? Where did you go? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there you are! Hey! Oh, you launched! That's great! Good job, you. But really, that's the first thing you say. That's so sweet. Wow. I guess that means I've been out here for a while, huh? Well, um, this is Riddle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes. Right, they have four eyes, I forgot that. Uh, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've... Probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Good on you, you know? I'm proud of you. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. 
tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is half stable instead of being sucked into what's below. Hey, I did that. That was actually kind of fun. I've been gagging at... Uh, ga gauging? Gagging? Gagging? Hmm? Gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. Oh. And it seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But but that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come here all the way to listen to me listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be Yeah. Actually I did. I think you're really sweet. I learned something. I learned something. I'm gonna go around and say that to everybody. All of my friends. I learned something. Why should I explore here? What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing that I'm all Timber Hearts got right now. Brillalo is rich with no my history. That's why I'm here. This plan planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. If you have any questions about Brillalo no my, I'm your Harthian. Or, um,. I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I can help. Uh, I learned something! Oh, cool! Um, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow! So then, the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in, tr been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is amazing discovery. But you discovered Brittle Hollow, didn't you see this yourself? It's, it's just a little harder. Um, I hope we can find out more about how and why Nomai lived here. I learned something. I saw the Sunless City and Amber Twins. Hmm. You mean there's an other Nomai City inside of Amber Twin? That's incredible, a whole city, and I had no idea it, ex it existed. That is great. How did they keep the sand out? If I, if it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Namai sure were, were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there are two groups of Nomai, one that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived on Brittle Hollow. Um, but they must have traveled around the solar system, since Nomai's, Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. I learned something! Actually, never mind. Oh, okay. If you do find- if you do learn something new about the Nomai though, I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you don't mind, I mean. Uh, what should I explore? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Actually, it's very yes. It was fun. Which is unfortunate because, um, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the hanging city. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also a big dome on the surf south pole called Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structure here, there's probably a path to, to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Um, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. Oh, sweetheart. So 304 meters, where is it? There. Oh, there? Yeah. Do we just take a chance? Oh, that's the black hole. I don't know if I can get all the way over there. Oh. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ooh, okay, so... Yeah. Mm. 
could I have chosen which way to go? Maybe? Or maybe they both lead there. Regardless, so... Bye, black hole! I outsmarted you! Ah! Oh, I can walk on those, I think. Ooh, a scroll! Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Excuse me? What? Is there anything else around here? Huh? I'm guessing we're going up, but we're gonna need to... Boost it? No? Hmm. I don't think I can go all the way up there. Mm. Oh. I get it. No. Sweetie, you need to go up. There we go. How far up can I... I don't know if I wanted to go all the way here, or did I? I mean, don't ask me, I don't know what- I don't know what I'm doing. Mm, the drift is real. Southern Observatory. Yeah. Will this crack? <laughs> I'm scared. Mm. Will I get- Oh! Good thing. <laughs> oh. Hello? Beneath your feet lies a tower of quantum knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend at the stairs to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Yeah. We shall. Wait, what? I'm here. Don't shoot me. Trees are moving. The trees in this grove are wandering about freely. The entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I've never seen them. And I never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnessed witness this disturbing behavior, I implore you record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I did not notice it until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's the, oh, there's the matter... There is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for... An, it is unusual for another reason too. It possess, uh, possesses color and textures I've never seen elsewhere in, on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard uh, presence is significant. We should study it. Could it could it be what is causing the nearby objects to also move around the area? Yeah, yes. Yeah. There is something on top of it. I could also, I guess... Oh! Oh! All the way down! I didn't mean to do that. I wanted it to actually be... Surface integrity 2%. Oh, how cool. I wanted it to be... Like... Can I... So it's a death trap, huh? So how do I... How do I get... Oh, you moved there. I need you to move somewhere else because... No. There. That's better, I think. I don't know. How can I... Hmm. Yeah. Yep, 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 stop, 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 stop. Ow. Can I just shoot up from here, maybe? Oh. Yeah. 
it. Plum Felix and I have determined that this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove is behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is a wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grove are related. Yeah, the grove we had on the planet too, right? On our planet, right? In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned that uh, this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the one wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is uh, even a smaller piece of the moon itself. Of course, a unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend's friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling from calling out from giant deep timber hearth and the uh, and the hourglass twin. Suppose there is another shard like this one. Yeah. What? What was the peep 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 peep? What was the peep peep peep? Ow! I can't go down here? No. I guess I'm glad I didn't give up on the bread all the way. Whoa, dude. Tower of quantum knowledge below 90 meters. I can't get in anywhere from here, huh? No bueno. Oh, don't want to fall. Alright. I guess this would have been another way to reach it. Hello! Oh. Are we... moving? Yep. I guess we are. Hmm. Surface integrity zero percent. You can you can come back now. Good thing. I think we can also also do this one. Stop! Don't hurt me. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. You can put this away. Actually. Don't need to hold that. Okay. Oh, come on, this is so high. I'm not very good at this. Okay, there we are. Yes. Accidentally doing the things that I wanted to do. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, hold up. Okay, you're fine. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fall through the black hole by accident, don't worry. You aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Oh. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp uh, can only be used during a brief window when the, towers, when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. You must be standing in the warp station on the floor during the alignment to be warped. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when the astral body is directly overhead. Ah. Oh. How lovely. Wait. Where can I... Is this one going from below? Is this going up? Is there a... What? No, you come here then, I guess. You come there. What happened? No. But where is the... Oh, maybe I can bring this with me? 
don't know what I did with this. How did that help? This is actually super pretty. Hi, Chef. I guess the moon is going on. Whoa! Oh, it's here! Oh! 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 Okay! Uh! Uh! Return warp station charge. Step one. Step into the warp receiver to activate warp. Oh! Oh yeah, it was in here. I remember. Oh no, I'm not gonna have time. Ramen, I reviewed the re records you sent, Poke, and they apparently show Numai are, care are retrieving the warp uh, slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can an Omai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she is even stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke as, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate. She's kind she's kindly helping me attempting attempt to recreate this phenomenon at a high energy lab. We designed we're designing an experiment to take more data. An update, Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon of the Ember Twin Equator. Come here at once. Uh, it's a canyon of Ember Twin Equator. Ember Twin Equator. I understand it's exceedingly odd, uh, but Clary and I have have tested the result of the equipment and the result are the same every time they warp. I don't disagree, but it would mean I have in the broken several fundamental theories regarding the universe. We would have to reconsider all of the beliefs about the nature at this time. The internet is incredible, it makes roughly the 100,000th of a second. Do you suppose our instrument can't accurately measure time in such a small degree? Ah! Yes, I hope so too! Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Eat me. Hi! I read so fast, so good. Let's see what, what it says. <laughs> look at that, look at us. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay. Every Namaya warp tower is tuned in, uh, tuned to a specific astral body to use uh, to use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai noticed something strange. Warped, object, warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative timing... Mm, okay, this is getting complex at that. Um, this negative time interval between an object arriving and departing was incredibly minus minuscule, roughly 100,000th of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment should even measure time in such a small degree. The negative time interval measure at the White Hollow Station was further invested at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at Ember Twin Equator. In the canyon at Ember Twin Equator. We haven't even visited there, I think. There's a huge Nomai city just to the north of Rybeck's campsite. Yes, but we didn't have time to explore that. Come on. Okay, so... This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to, quantum, to the quantum moon. Their first pilgrimage... So they were landing on the moon. A strange rock shard that wandered uh, uh, when no one is watching. The Nomai determined this shard is the reason objects in this grove behaved in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized, hypothesized 
that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. This shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Hourglass Twin. Yeah, and from Giant's Deep. Mm. Mm hmm. Now we had something here. This one seems to be happy now. Ryback has set up a camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their equipment at the um at the, their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. <laughs> Poor thing. Ryback is a Timberheart's only archaeologist. They overcame their fear of space and explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Ah, yeah, I like this. I like this guy. I like this guy. Uh, then I decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Ryback says, you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's more to explore. So those little signs means that there's more. Um, though it seems like things are just popping up as well, obviously, from me just randomly exploring, right? Yeah. We have to go back. That's basically the, the bottom line of it. We need more. From bl 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 there's a there's a very real risk that I'm gonna grow tired of just going back to the same place and start exploring somewhere else. But it completely depends on if I um, get sidetracked or not. Hello, you playtime little piece of shit. Hmm. So, did they somehow manage to land on this thing? While they were going on their, quote, voyage? Now, if I get too close, it's gonna disappear, but there doesn't seem to be anything on it anyway, right? Hmm. Bye, moon! Bye! <laughs> We were in it, and it is a beard. Cool. Inching our way forward. Yeah, got it. Mm, okay. There we are. Uh, so. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one? No. Oh, yeah, no. Mm, okay, yeah, we're going in. Well, here's what I was wondering. So you're just laying there, right? What difference does it make if I pull you into these different ones? Wait, what? What? What difference did it make? Am I... Oh! Is it the... Uh, or like... Is it deciding where in what way it should spin? No. Yeah? This? Why do I want that? Why do I want that though? Hmm. Now that one is going for Brittle Hollow, right? So what does it matter which way it's spinning? Why? Why does it matter, huh? 
Should be coming up right there. <gasps> oh! Doesn't make it less scary. Oh. Hello there. Oh! Guess I'm back here, huh? And then this one, we didn't have time. Ember Twin Project Stone. That that's the that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the moon, right? Wait, Ember Twin. So do I need? Oh, the moon's gone. Is this projecting a place or a time? Okay. Well, we read all of that in uh, haste. Hmm. So now we're back here. Where's my... Well, hi. See, I didn't get as scared this time. <laughs> hmm. I learned. Hmm. Is that the Hanging City? Bonk. Oh, I knew that was gonna hurt. Took a chance. Took a chance on me. I'm gonna do my very best. Ship log updated, really? Oh, okay. Yes. Right? Ooh, okay, I'm getting all hyped up. Alright, calm down. Number one, okay. School district. School district. Meltwater districts. I shrine districts. Black hole for black hole forge. Excuse me, that was Meltwater District. That was also Meltwater District. Oh my gosh. Ship log updated with what? Black hole forge control. What? Did I do? Am I, uh... What am I doing? Oh. oh, the music is so cool! I understand it's a thing, but I'm almost like... I, I want to explore in a slower pace. Oh, empty. The Ashwin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. The Ashwin project? Oh... How should we obtain it? Can I... If I remove the scroll and I put it in somewhere else... Is it the same? Yeah. How... How... Um... I'm not gonna... How complicated. Yeah. That's, that's the word. That's the word. Solution 2. We could craft a new... Advanced warp core instead by inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, its knowledge we have little hope of recovering. We would uh, it would be best to relearn, I think. I would be very much I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More Relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I uh, could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. It is the safest path. It is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find him something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. 
If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Polka had, was apprenticed, uh, apprenticed to an apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our black hole forge is adept at uh, adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. So that's sort of what I meant, that this is not even their... I don't think they were the one who started this whole... journey? This sort of just... continuing it? We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. Oh, this is like solution one, maybe? This would require uh, a return to Dark Bramble. Okay, so Dark Bramble existed even when they were here. Because I had a theory that Dark Bramble was this uh, seeds that was shooting out and sort of taking over planets. Um, but then there, it's not doing it as frequent then, huh? This would require a return to Black Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good no nomai perished there. Yeah, I hear you. My mentor Kaleas and his old mentor once discovered and studied the, an anglerfish fossil on Amber Twin. <gasps> Wait, is this like the next generation after the one that we've been talking, reading about? So at Ember Twin, uh, near the Ash Twins, we uh, they were very much aware of this anglerfish. So this is after the the um, Ash Twin project. Using that knowledge, which can avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play the fossil fish cavern when we were children. Yes. Okay. So these are the kids of the people who created the Ash Twin project, right? And so they didn't create the original core. So this is like the second generation living in this uh, solar system. What Melora and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis, hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken at, at best. Recall those present, those present when the vessel crashed. Uh, when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guarantee guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we should still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature of or extend uh, um, extent of the damage. Even if it's no longer in no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Yeah. So, did something happen in the solar system or did the next generation of Nomai do something they shouldn't have? I feel strange, trying to recreate Anona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the black and for the black hole forge to be my care and not his hypothesis this will always feel strange even though my time with him was short i miss my old mentor and deeply hmm. to have the chance to try is thrilling but i don't want to disappoint everyone i think i can do this probably but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Imposter syndrome? Was I wrong to vol in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And never saw Anona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. 
What if I've bitten off a larger portion that I can consume? <laughs> Still, all I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Roots in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Is this you? Hey, Poke. Is this you? Ah, uh, this looks not stable. Let's try it anyway. Hmm. That one goes all the way up, I guess. I guess I'm okay here. Did he add these after? All of this was... This half destroyed, those teleports and stuff? Whoa! Oh, that illusion looked so cool! With those golden things on the stairs. Interesting. Is this the observatory? I mean, closing in on? Maybe? No. We're just outside. We're here. How did I even get up? Oh, there. Ow. So. I don't know if I missed anything here, but I think I'm gonna have to come back again later. Yeah, ship ship hole breached. I guess we got hit. Um. Must have gotten hit by. I go down there? Yeah, I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, do I have to... Thank you. Thank you kindly. Wait, didn't I... Oh, okay, so now I'm at the floor. That was school. School district, yeah. This is, I'm just saying, I'm just, this tickles freaking every, is it the entire place? My exploration bone. <laughs> I, I don't know, words escape me. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Oh, hi. Gave up over dinner, huh? Nope. No, thank you. This is the school district? That's pretty sad. Oh, there's the. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do there. So it's sort of fine to go. Fine to go this far. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing around here. Yeah, can't go there. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I understand. It's ghost matter. I I heard you. Nope. I'm a little turned around now. I'm not sure. Not sure where I am. Oh. I think we got around it. Oh man, the music. Explanation of festivals. All the Namai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery uh, can mean all the Namai get to advance too. Also, they were living in different places. Hold on. It's gonna get more comfortable. So they were living in different places, so is it, does it mean that they're traveling from very vast places, like different solar systems? Like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp along this long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival, in, festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Well, no wonder if you want to share that in-depth knowledge and stuff, right? We can't go because we're stuck here. Oh, but Felix says we used to go. Okay. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. Except if you can't go, I guess. Thank you. What was that? Whisk Ouch, what was that? That scared the bejeebies out of me. Formation of this Oh, formation of this universe. Oh, oh my god, okay. Please let this be a lot of text. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. Yeah, and then it was they were talking about how it was expanding, right? So Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at this early universe as the early this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles from a, uh, were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. Yeah. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. Huh. This is scary to think about. Even though Konoi, Konoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetime, but it will happen to someone, someone else's someday. Yes. Okay. Uh, is that what we are reliving? Is it? What are you? You're so cute. Yeah, I know. It's nearby. Don't go there. Ah. Hmm. So there is something there. Am I hearing the music? Yeah. Yep. Uh... There's been so much to discover here. Oh no! Oh no! It's another scroll! Oh no! Oh, that sucks. I mean, it sucks 
It's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh no. Of course. Oh, I'm panicking. I guess that means we're coming back here, huh? have time I understand why we should build a new vessel hmm wish I could put a black hole from this planet to brittle hollow because I keep going back there because there's so much to explore look at that there you are Up, 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 up. Girl, we're fine. Besides, it's... Oh. Where am I now? <laughs> I like, how do I keep doing that? <laughs> we're just abandoning that poor little ship anyway. Um. Okay, let's go. I learned something. Uh, I saw hang saw the Hanging City on Brittle Hollow. You visited the Hanging City? Oh gosh! How was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It's It was their most advanced, advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you know what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to Nomai though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Uh, yeah. See you later. There we have it. Let's go back to the classroom. It's a good thing it they planted the trees here. For my sake. We're like some some silly goose is gonna come here. We have to have to make sure. Okay. Why we should build a new vessel? It probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down other constructs like the towers on Ash Twin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now even though vessels are normally large but we could make it bigger uh, later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also uh, help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yarrow and he says we use use lots of resources on the Ash Twin projects. Hmm. We could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Polk tells me yeah, uh, she plans to make a very advanced warp core for for a little project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for uh, for travel, because Pokey is smart. Oh my gosh! Each of my clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai are wanderers and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clans wouldn't be stuck here in this star system. We could even meet with other Nomai and learn from them like Lea says we used to. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. There we are. 
This place is a little bit confusing. Okay, let's go to the third floor. Which was this... Core thing. So, school, water, core, and then I don't remember the fourth one. So we'll do core now. If it's at all possible, yes. Oh, so this is the, the core, the forge, right? Supposedly... So basically, this race is just like loiters in space, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> They're just going around everywhere and like... We were here. Oh, no, not there. Make you question your existence. We were here first. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, those beds? Is that how they slept? Huh. Always on their sides with their head, huh? Oh! Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. God, I got scared. I'm so concentrated, I got scored. Oh. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it's a cosmic library. Support, suppose the eye is more an adv more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. So the eye could technically be on this this stone that teleports everywhere, right? It could be something with that. It could be related to that. That it's just everywhere, all the time. That's why we can't locate it. So those stones are the key, probably. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous un universe. The early universe was unimaginably, unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previous assume, previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye, eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt to express itself. From the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. Be welcome to this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us uh, to this star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Dude, my mind's open. Wide open. I'm ready for all kinds of knowledge. Bestow it upon me. And I shall learn from thee. Yeah. Okay, so I think... But that was it. I'm, I'm like ready for the library. Let's read. But no? Okay. Guess we'll do a hacking jump. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes, okay. I imagine I've been hard on Pokey again. This in return means I've made things difficult for her. For her sister. For her sister, Clary. Hmm. If Pokey and I are oil and... If Pokey and I are oil and water, Clary... Uh, Clary is our 
em Emil Cipher, like the one that mixes it, maybe. I don't know. Mm, I don't know what uh, Katalysator, I guess, maybe in Swedish. I don't know. Because that's Catalyst, uh, whatever. Um, she certainly makes us better team than wood mixing uh, through shaking, although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. <laughs> Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize. At least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. Or do you just do it yourself, straight up, bro? Learn from your mistakes, it's fine. You're loved. You're in a safe... Safe space. Yeah. Anything here? No? Wawa me up. Wawa! Baby want uppies. Okay. Now... Hmm. I guess maybe I could go further there. Into that? Did I go there? I don't think so. Ow, ow. longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us. But it may not want to be found, either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that. Circumstance. I suspect imagining we were we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye may have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. Or, and that my ancestors have uh, heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. Oh, what's this? And the longer belief. Yeah, okay. In fact, the eye might not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. It's very insightful of you to reach that conclusion, actually. They're... Oh. They're following God in a way, right? That's what it ends up being. In a way. Am I supposed to go there? <laughs> oh, it's there. Now I see. Hmm. Okay. Apis? Nope, he, not here. The other one? Apis other one? No? Alright, I guess not. So... Ooh. Is that why I need to... Can I go like... No... This one is blocked off too. Is that why I need to go to that one place with the... Glass thing and move the black hole so it's up there? To be able to go to black hole forge... Oh, that was black hole forge? What? Where was I? I shrine. Hmm. So where was that thing? Maybe it was somewhere here. Let's check it. I don't know. Hmm. I love when music is proximity... Um, sensitive, I was gonna say. Where did we see that? That's that thing. That's not what I wanted. That's the cannon. I don't want that either. I uh, wonder how I got to that. 
No. Must be in the city. It's up there. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Can I see it from here? Oh. I think we're almost out of time. Hum, 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 hum. Oh, it's inside this thing, right? Also, oh, did I just go down there? Like, walk? Yeah, I think so. Right. So, it's this thing. That thing goes up. Okay. Oh, I got stuck. Hmm. Still can't really get to it though. I think I have to go to go there, do that, go through the black hole. And then warp back. <laughs> Smooth as butter. Nice. <laughs> I may have actually really needed that. <laughs> Hold up. Do I really need to... Oh, maybe I have to pull this marble to make it move. So it doesn't matter in what way it moves, sure, but I need to make it start. Right. Yeah. Still in the same place, huh? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Departure time. Arrival time. Yeah. Wait. Does that mean I'm actually the stone? that actually means oh boom <laughs> there we are. Let's just see what we got. Ooh. Oh my. Wait, wait, I'm gonna... Oh, let's start from this one. The Nomai city is suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's North Glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. Looks like horizontally, but okay. Um, I found a switch in the Meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. Oh, that's what it was doing! Right. How does that help me, though? Like, it went all the way up. Hmm. Because the way it was looking was that when I did use that switch, it went, quote, up. Um, and I couldn't get there. Hmm. So why were they moving the forge? Could I get into the forge while I was down? Didn't look into that. 
The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um... No... Hmm. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for uh, for the Ash Twin project. Project. Um. So they they wanted to take it. Uh, the Nomai traveled to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from somewhat older than the universe itself. They named the source of the signal the Eye of the Universe. Hmm. And then we read this. The black hole forge is suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the forge. The black forge district is the highest district in the hanging city. A Nomai named Pokey planned to create a new advanced warp core in the black forge black hole forge but we couldn't get all the way there when we raced it all the way there the vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in black black bramble the namai learned how to evade anglerfish theoretically at least by studying an anglerfish fossil found on ember twin yeah we are gonna have to go there that's just all like tying it nicely together over there. Yeah. Well, I have been playing for one and a half hours. I don't know how to stop, but there is. I just started thinking about something. When we were standing in the projection of the Ash Twin project, we saw those masks that we're seeing every time we're getting uh, resurrected, right? And only a few of them were shining. Which makes me think that the Ash, Tw Ash Twin project is a project where it's connected to those Nomai statues. So maybe I I might have been onto something when they're saying that that's how they are. They found a way to communicate, but they sealed it off, right? They sealed off that inner core where we could see those masks around us, but only four of them were shining. So this one awoke and is shining in the Ashwin project. Maybe that was a mistake. Obviously they picked me, but it activated for some reason. Is it time that it's reacting to? I don't know. Well, this episode might have been uh, a little bit longer than I intended, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I am, and we have to go back to Brittle Hollow again. Again and again, because there's so much to unravel there, that's crazy, and I'm guessing if I start looking into the Ash Twins, it's gonna be exactly the same. Ah well, we'll see, right? Oh, see you guys next time. Bye!